Hey there, gorgeous gays. Version 2 here with Let's Play Returnal. Because it's a full LP now, because I enjoyed it too much. Because I had too many full LPs to do. And this was a test footage, but it's now full LP because that first stream was really fun. Anyway, Returnal is intended to be a challenging experience. Each new cycle presents new challenges, rewards, and changes to the world. Adapt and persevere to progress further. When you die or close Returnal, you'll always be returned to the crash site, and all non-permanent progression will be lost. You can suspend your cycle by using the console's rest mode functionality. This is the thing that's been causing quite a stink on Twitter. <laughs> of people losing their progress, because they can't finish it, because it might take like four hours to finish it. People were saying like a successful run might be about two hours. I, it was two hours for me to get to the first boss. Admittedly, I am slow, and I read everything, but still though. <laughs> But still, though, um, they're apparently working on it. They're trying to see how smart he is. Trying to see if it's possible to put in some form of save feature. They're not quite sure at this point, I think, because um, there's nothing there at, the, at this stage for that. But hey, fortunately, every time I play this game, I'm going to be streaming this game. So I just finish the cycle every time, and it actually will not never affect me. Because it's just like, oh, but what if it takes four hours? Or like, so to do that, I'll only be streaming this game at times where I can play for four to six hours. So for me, it's not going to affect me ever. But I do feel sorry for the people where it's just like, the game updated, updated, like while the PS5 was turned off. And because it updated, it turned off the game. Oops, everything lost. <laughs> I'm honestly baffled that's something that came up during development. How how did no one think this is a roguelike with several hour long runs? Maybe people should be able to suspend it in game as opposed to relying on the console functionality for it. I yeah, I am baffled that it didn't come up. Like it's a kind of a big issue. It's a big issue. And yeah. Then again, RE8 just put a uh, behind-the-scenes video where they admitted that the game played like shit and no one on the dev team realized it until it was in test hands. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, so the way you would play a game, developing it, I imagine would be very different to how anyone else is going to play the game. So I can understand stuff like that being difficult, but it is still surprising that no one on the dev team for this considered a four-hour, you-can't-stop or lose your progress thing to be a bit of an issue but um from my understanding this was also a game where the scope increased again and again and again in development like they were planning on making a much smaller game and every time house marquee demoed it to sony it was just like sony were really impressed and just gave them more money make it bigger make it bigger until it became this like full price release effectively triple a title so, from my understanding, this game did not start out like that. Maybe when this game started, it didn't need to suspend runs in the middle of it because it was like 30 to 40 minute runs at maximum. Maybe when the game first started development, it was like that. So, they didn't implement a, sus a suspend system from that point. And then once it got bigger and that became an issue, they were just like, well, the PS5 can do it. And then it's become a bigger issue afterwards. Again, not an issue that's going to affect me though with how I'm going to play this. The Star Citizen problem, but with dead to that, give a shit. <laughs> the game actually did come out, so I will give House Marky that much credit. This game does exist. Look, look, ready? I'm going to press this X button, and now I'm playing a video game. I can't say that for Star Citizen. So, there is that. So, I died last time, and I didn't leave this first room. Will that count as a run? Like, in terms of the game in- in-game counting how many times I've failed or lost or anything? I'm curious about that. Because we do have a functionality on this computer that we had over here. The main terminal- oh! Daily challenges! You can beat against other scouts once it's unlocked. Yeah, this game's actually now updated, so I actually have all the online features, which I didn't know there was any, and I don't know what they are, given what we saw before, but hey. I think it's in here that we see how many attempts we've had. Deaths two. Okay, okay. So it it is still still only the two deaths. The, us leaving the room last time didn't count as a failed run. Like, because I was saying, we came into the, like, we started, we were on, like, we died and we fucked around a bit on the ship here. We didn't actually leave this room, though. So I was just like, is that going to count as a failed run according to the game? And it doesn't. Not that it would mean much, but it's just like, at the end of the game, I'd like to see how many runs it took me to actually beat it. And if every time I finished a session it added an extra because of that, it would be just a little bit harder to just be like, well, okay, how much was it 
actually though. Okay, so now it's time to remember how to play this game. We've got our normal jump, which, yeah, we don't have any, yeah, no, no jetpacks or anything like that. We do have our dash. Yes, we do still have our incredibly sick melee. Um, triangles just interact. Uh, I forget if L1 and R1 do anything. If they do anything, I'd say something I haven't unlocked yet. Yeah, that's our, that's our focus fire, alt fire, and fire is obviously bam there and stuff like that. Okay, okay. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we got this thing last time, which unlocked a new thing. So if we get three, if we die with three ether, it'll come back and fill that up. Okay, okay. Just gotta remember some of the parts <laughs> of this game. And oh my god, using a controller that is like... Could the force be adapting? <laughs> using a controller that's got all the haptic stuff is just once again immediately just throwing me into a oh my god sorry i need to turn down my fan what the fuck is going on sorry that's worse i'm gonna turn my fan off my fan is making an awful sound making it very hard to hear anything else it's just this it sounds angry at me my fan is dying which is very upsetting considering it's a very expensive fan oh hey buddy how are you oh you're gonna kill me I don't know why I didn't just shoot someone who didn't want to kill me on an alien planet, but hey. They a uh, Strixera! Hey! Updated data bank entry and it tells me the name of it and stuff. I don't know if it did that last time. It might have. Hey! Hi, hi buddy! How are you? Whoa, oh. Get out of here. Oh, fuck up that. I gotta remember that active reload is a thing in this game and I should try and actually use it. I keep forgetting that this game has that. So I've got to remember. Right, the game has active reloading. I love re active reloading. I should try and use the active reloading. Oh, Jesus! They came up. Oh, right. I saw myself turn right. I'm just like, I didn't get hit by any of that. And I'm once again remembering. Right, 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 right. The red is, <laughs> the, red is the adrenaline. <laughs> and you got to collect overlights really quickly because they disappear fucking rapidly as shit. I do appreciate that it's a rogue like that has that encouragement of get the fuck in there and get in the action of if you kill something you want the rewards from it get there fast you can't just like lane this out and just slowly tackle everything as you um like from a distance no you gotta get in there and unknown suit signal potential trace the last movements oh my god does this actually have dark souls death stuff i've encountered our black box technology holograms they're showing my last moments. Huh. Oh shit, this is what online functionality is in this game. I just have to see it's flagged for retrieval. Demon Killer 42513. Wow, that is very um, Xbox Live gamer tag. Scavenge minus three ever, avenge four ever. Oh. Oh! Oh, what is going on? Oh, what does Avenge mean? Oh, fuck, what does Avenge mean? Well, I have made- I have made a mistake! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, Avenge is kill whatever killed them, I guess. But amped up to shit? Oh, fuck me. Oh my god! Oh god! Okay, okay, okay. Fucking die! Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay! 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 Cool! Cool! Alright! <laughs> There's run number three, everyone! There's run number three! Don't know if I should upload that as a separate video on YouTube. Enough.